today and we have to teach you the chapter number first of class 7 physics naming measurement this chapter you have studied in the previous class also that was with the name physical quantities and measurement then you have studied physical quantities at the length of uh, time temperature these are the other physical quantities which you have studied earlier the topic which we have to discuss in this chapter is measurement so first of all we come to know that the what is measurement is comparing an unknown quantity with some fixed quantity of standard magnitude. This is a bonus measurement. Further on, length, time, temperature. Length is measured in meter, time is in second, temperature is measured in degree Celsius, Kelvin and Fahrenheit. What these all are termed as the physical quantities. In this present chapter, we have to study about mass, weight and density. Three of the major topic is to be discussed in the things mass, weight and density. Okay. Moving on toward moving on toward the things mass. First thing mass. What is that? It is the amount of matter contained in a body. It is the amount of matter contained in a body. Let us understand this with an example. If we take a jug and a glass bowl full of water. Now, if I ask you that which is heavier or which is lighter, definitely your answer will be that jug is heavier as compared to the glass which is full of water. What is that? The matter which is contained in that jug is water. Therefore, the quantity of water in the jug is more as compared to the top glass. This define this resulting the things as indicate mass. How? That the amount of matter contained in our body is termed as mass. Therefore, the jug has the more mass as compared to the glass. This was an initial. Now, some key points for the mass. Mass is constant value <coughs> or quantity. Mass is constant quantity. Second thing is that it is measured in or we can say that SI unit of mass is kg that is kilogram or one point. <clears throat> mass is measured measured with the help of beam balance beam balance or physical balance. Mass is measured with help of the balance or on physical balance. Next thing, then it can never be zero. It can never be zero. So these are the four major points on which we have we have seen. Mass is constant quantity. It cannot change. As I know of mass is kg, it is measured with the help of beam and physical balance. Beam and physical balance. Here physical balance is basically using the scientific unit. And beam balance is in the regular use. It can never be zero. This is the thing. One point. Next coming on the weight. Weight. Before moving towards the weight, I would give you the difference between the mass and the weight. For a common person, the mass and the weight are same. But in terms of the physics, the mass and weight are different. S like weight. Mass is the amount of matter contained in the body. Mass is the amount of matter contained in the body. Whereas the weight, it is the force with which the earth attract body toward its, its body, itself. Or we can say that the gravitational force which acts on the body. This is the major difference between the mass. Rate. Now with the help of key points also, you will come to know that that it is as mass is constant, weight is variable value quantity. Weight is variable quantity. Second one, SI unit. SI unit of weight is Newton. Over by letter N. Third one, <coughs> it is measured with the help of spring balance. 
green balance. And lastly, it can be zero. Why it can be zero? Because it depends on the gravitational force, and gravitational force changes from place to place. These are the two of the key points on which we should remember the things. Further on, suppose uh, this can also be explained with the help of an experiment. Suppose if I take the string over here, mm -hmm. one string and one more string having the more load. <coughs> In the first thing we can see that there is no loop, so its length is stone. On the second, we put a weight or the stone piece on it, due to which it lead toward downward or move toward. That means its length increases over here. In the last one, third one, we increase the weight. What we are seeing is on continuously we are increasing the weight. The spring is stretching toward downwards. This downward stretchment is only the force of gravity which attracts the body toward itself. This, with the help of this, we conclude that the force of attraction the body attracted by the to, toward the earth. What is attracted toward the earth? Up to over here, this was between the weight and that of mass. Now, one more topic from this chapter we have to study is density. This may be new, not new we can say, it, but it is of the detailed knowledge over here. In this one density. Oh, density simply with the formula is equals to m upon v, where that is m is the mass, v is the volume. By the definition or by explanation, we can say that density is the ratio of mass plus volume. <clears throat> or mass and volume density according to the no, unit of density is when mass is in kilogram and volume is in meter cube therefore you can see that the value will be kg per meter cube or kg meter inverse this is kg meter inverse density or suppose if the mass is in gram and the volume is in centimeter cube therefore the unit of density will be gram per centimeter cube or gram centimeter cube inverse these are the unit of density clear no <coughs> To measure the density of a regular substance is very easy with the help of this. But how to measure the density of irregular bodies? Irregular bodies or the irregular solids like stone. For this, because to find the volume, for this we take the help of the either Eureka can or overflow jar. This suppose take a jar, fill a water up to a mark. This is jar one. Point out this one. Mark the things. Let this I be this volume be V1. Up to here. Uh, we maintain the reading from here. Now, on the other hand, in the same jar, you put a piece of stone with the help of spray inside is let it be as like stone this is stone when you put that stone in a it the level of the water will rise in this way from here to here let it be as v2 now the volume of stone volume of stone V will be equal to V2 minus V1 and as soon as we get the value of V, we can apply this in the formula. This is equal to mass upon volume and we will get the density of the substance. Clear? This was an effect of the
part of the things. Then see. Okay, the regular solid. Now, next is comes about the relative density. This must be the new thing for you. Now, relative density. It is basically when we compare the density of substance. When we compare the density of substance with that of water. What is that? When we compare the density of substance with that of water, we get a number. And that number is termed as relative density. Yes. We have to. This is termed as the relative density. Suppose in the way we can write that relative density is equal to density of substance compared with density of water. This can be explained with the help of an um, example. Suppose if we take an iron piece, iron having the density of 7800 kg meter cube and that of water which is density, density B is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube. Therefore, relative density for this iron will be equal to 7800 upon 1000 means two values will be cancelled. The answer will be 7.8. This is the relative density of iron. RD relative density has no unit. This should be taken in mind very clearly. It has no unit. This is the number which is calculated means that Rd of that iron is 7.8. In this way, you have to work it out. What is that? So this work all about the things. Relative densities. In this chapter, we have finally concluded three of the major things. Three of the major things are mass, weight, and our density. Mass. So what was it? Mass, weight, and density. In all of these things, the arithmetic thing was which we have to which we studied was density. Density, it is one last point one we have left out. The density is denoted with a Greek letter. Greek letter which is mentioned in R H O. This is symbolized in this way. R H O Rho. In this way, it is symbolized. Now, finally, our chapter is completed in this way. If suppose we take in uh, numericals are also over there, if you have to move with it, so you can apply the formula density is equal to mass upon volume to solve the numerical values. This can be m is equal to density in V, or we can say that volume is equal to mass upon density. Specifically, one thing we one of them, uh, one topic we have left in that, which is the effect of one uh, topic is left in that effect of temperature on solid, liquid, and gases. Here it is. What is the effect of temperature on solid liquids and gases? Yes. On heating, on heating the temperature, on, uh, sorry, on heating the solids, the change in there is very low. That is, we can say that negligible. So we leave this off. Coming on the liquids and gases, we know that when the things are heated, they expand. Um, it means their volume increases. Okay, on heating, the volume of liquid and gases increases. And by the relation of density, mass upon volume, density is inversely proportional to volume. What does this mean? It means that if there will be a rise in the volume, the density will decrease. Means one quantity will increase and other will decrease. This is known as the inverse proportional. Inversely proportional. Okay, density is equal to mass upon volume, that is density is inversely proportional to Therefore, on heating or you are increasing the temperature, the volume increases which 
decreases the density of the substance. So this was all about the chapter number first measurements and the physics class seven. So go through the things, get in briefs, get it checked out, and prepare it. Thank you.